Kubor Kabati C TV. Lawan Rashapi Daka Frank Motors. I am Tata Punch. Price starting at 5.80 lakhs. Ringkat Bakanet Foodish. Or Dharma Pi, Nin Wan Ramani, Hakir Dob Ying Jong Pi. High secondary school Shillong, Haka Life Hotre Unai Lord Arhajar Puar, Kalaraki, Kajinga Linti, Kaba Arpusan Snem Kanti, Haka Jing Ai Jin Shakri, Shaki Kenna School, Ban Basai Ki Umpolio Jing Star, Shaki Kenna Ki Bashong Basa, Kashnong Renja, Banna Kishnong Ki Bamarjan, Haka Jing Raki, Kaniga Jubilee Rupa, U Commissioner and Secretary Jonkatanat Arts and Culture, Kasorka Jilla Uba FR Karkongor, Ula Longkum Ukong San. La Pinchong Kunya Kaniga Jingrake, Daki Jing Pinbirnya, Naki Kina School, Harinkar Kajing Sakilang, U Principal Uba AL Pariat, Reverend Doctor R. R. Conville, Kakong E. C. Pariat, Kakong W. Malnyang, U T. Marak, Ka Vice Principal Kapapuri Bordoloi, Kinohikai, but Kikina Poli Jonganiga School. Jump, 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 jump. We request uh, the rest of the dignitaries to be seated. We thank our chief guests for releasing the Silver Jubilee magazine and we request you, sir, to deliver your Silver Jubilee address. At the very outset, I would like to extend my heartiest congratulations to the Hillcrest School for completing a very epochal 25 years of its Silver Jubilee celebrations. Uh, the guest of honor, Mr. Marvin Young, the Joint Director of the EMBOS, the Principal of the School, Mr. Adrian Lamonte Perriot, the Founder, uh, Ms. E.C. Perriot, uh, the DSCO, Reverend Gunwell, the Chairman of the School Management Committee, Mr. T. Mark, uh, Vice Principal, the teachers, the members uh, of the staff, the faculty, the students, uh, the traditional heads, uh, Principal of the Shalom Public School who is here, and all the well wishers uh, and students, past alumni of this uh, of the school. Uh, it was just the other day when I was here with you uh, for a school function, and I was just talking to. Uh, uh, Mrs. E.C. Pariyat that, you know, time just flew past and I asked her, uh, how do you manage to nurture the school for the last 
25 years. Uh, as we were reminiscing, I'm the parent of, an, uh, of two adolescent children and to bring up uh, two children also is quite a tough challenge and you brought up an institution. I think it's no mean task. Uh, and, and she said very practically that take each day as it comes. Do each day well and ensure that each day goes off well and that, and that each day will multiply into weeks, the weeks into months and the months and here we are 25 years down the line and Hillcrest is standing proud and tall as we are greeted with these wonderful images of these hills from across our state from Novgorod to the Tinyam to the Killam and to the Simpair and this wonderful peak below it reminds us of the peaks that you have scaled in the last 25 years the challenges that you have surmounted uh, the contributions that you have made and that you continue to make uh, to the education ecosystem of our state and uh, you have truly uh, reached at this point of time 25 years in the line uh, and lived up to your name of being at the crest of the hill. Congratulations, I think a big round of applause to the school, to its founder, to the principal, to the management and to all the stakeholders. Uh, I was thinking what uh, thoughts do I share at such a momentous uh, you know, occasion and uh, one image that I picked up from the performances that were uh, uh, so lovingly and vibrantly uh, performed here on the stage. Uh, one was the, that little uh, skit done by a group of children, there was a butterfly. And uh, I think the task of education, the task of, of the educationist is to transform, is to metamorphosize sand into pearls, coal into diamonds and caterpillars into butterflies and that transformative process which you have brought about is something which lays the foundation uh, of, the, of the human being of the student as your motto up here says wisdom with character which is the foundation stone uh, which of the lives not only of the students but of the families to which they will go back to of the of the institution itself and its contribution to the education setup uh, of the entire state. Uh, I mean, Hillcrest School is no ordinary school. Hillcrest School is a school that uh, goes out of its comfort zone. Hillcrest School is a school that adopts new teaching methods, that uh, takes up the challenges of uh, reinventing, of reimagining the whole education setup. I was uh, very inspired to learn that the school uh, adopts group activity and group teaching methodology. The various collaborations that you have with foreign embassies, with the US consulate, uh, and recently the micro scholarship program, which encourages uh, students to think beyond the classroom, beyond the four walls of, a, you know, of the classroom. I'm sure that the kind of teaching methodology, the kind of uh, you know uh, uh, an education that is being imparted here, is very much part of what we call joyful learning, in the sense that teachers through activities, through the various uh, programs that you have, do not only uh, go through the talk and chop method, uh, but and not only do you want to be a sage on the stage but you would like to be a guide by the side. And I think that is something which uh, will, uh, will in the long run be more, more meaningful and more impactful for a student and uh, the way he was, she shapes up his character. One evidence in a beautiful poem that was read by uh, the young girl Rebecca just now, it reminded me of the poet laureate in America, Amanda Gorman, uh, who had the uh, recent U.S. Uh, uh, I mean, at the uh, recent U.N. summit, also said that I dare you to shape our fate. Above all, I dare you to do good so that the world might be great. And I think that is one of the articles of faith of the uh, Hillcrest School. And uh, talking about group activity, I remember uh, way back in 2014, I had the opportunity to attend uh, a conference. Uh, at the Google headquarters in San Francisco, uh, it was the 
the Global Education uh, uh, you know, Symposium that was held at San Francisco at Mount View at Porto Alto and uh, we were given an insight into the uh, new teaching you know, methodologies. Uh, there are these BA schools in the San Francisco Bay. Uh, there are schools, it is a mix of both privileged as well as unprivileged schools. But the way that the classroom was designed was that students sat in groups. It was, it was no longer theater style. But the students sat in groups and they were given tasks and, and they were asked to come up with, uh, you know, with various solutions. And on the wall of, of each of the schools, I found lines which were very inspiring. And the lines read, You are created to succeed, designed to win, equipped to overcome, and anointed to prosper, and blessed to become a blessing. And I think that is at the core of the values that lie at the heart of what Hillcrest School stands for. And uh, I'm, uh, I was talking to Mr. Barriott about how <coughs> they faced the challenges of COVID. Last year I think was a very challenging, uh, the last two years rather, were very challenging uh, years for everyone and most specifically for the schools, for the students. And <coughs> the fact that despite two years of COVID, despite the challenges of two years of COVID, you have come up with about 90% pass uh, is, is quite a, a testimony to the dedication of the students, of the teachers and the ecosystem in the school. And uh, from a school that started with only 24 back in 1996, you have come up, uh, you, you, you have touched about 800 students at one point of time, not only catering to the educational needs of Chilon and its surrounding areas, but also the other parts of the Northeast. We saw such vibrant dances from the Manipuri community and uh, from the Assamese and from, from other states. And it's very heartening to learn that students from other parts of the region are also coming in droves and entering into your portals to avail of the quality education of the uh, you know, creative way of teaching that the school encourages. And I congratulate Hillcrest for being the torch bearer. There are many people who curse the darkness. <coughs> there are many people who curse the darkness. The critics and the cynics who say nothing can be done, so we should no, do nothing, we must curse the darkness. But I congratulate uh, the founder, the principal, the members of the school management committee, the teachers, the stakeholders, that they did not curse the darkness, but they chose to light a candle. They chose to ignite minds. Ignited minds is the, na is the name of the book written by APJ Abdul Kalam. And I think we are here in the midst of ignited minds who aspire and who will continue to aspire to scale the peaks which are there will surmount all the difficulties and uh, I, we know that our state today has, uh, is now celebrating 50 years and Hillcrest itself has said, is now celebrating 25 years. So it, it's, it's quite a measure of accomplishment on the part of the school. I only wish to extend my heartiest congratulations to the school for, uh, for, for you to, to to now travel full steam ahead into your golden jubilee uh, as you uh, embark, you already embarked from today, you've already embarked on that first step towards your golden jubilee and I hope we will all be here, maybe not as fit as we are now, but I hope we will all be here to also join hands with you to celebrate your golden jubilee and we can be even optimistic and ambitious, why not even Diamond Jubilee and Platinum after that. And may Hillcrest continue to shine, may it continue to ignite minds, may it continue to light that candle in the hearts and minds of each and every one of you in the ecosystem of education. Thank you, uh, thank you one all and congratulations uh, as you embark towards the Golden Jubilee. Thank you.
happy to have everyone here and share with us this day, which we call it this, uh, a, like a founders. It's not a founders' day, but we are a little way behind because of the COVID. So we are going to have uh, a meeting together and having the children and the parents and everyone who are here, all our friends and well wishes. So thank you all very much. Alright, so we've had uh, 25 years of a wonderful school life. Now, we, uh, our school, right from the beginning, we have gone for the motto, uh, wisdom with character, and we try to build that to in all our activities and all our lives here in the school. Now, um, the, uh, I would just like to say a few things about how I started the school. I was uh, encouraged by my husband, Dr. Karimbal, and with my son also, Amante, and I wanted to, uh, when we came here, it was uh, like a, a small village. Rinja was then a small village, but uh, we, so I found that uh, in this place, what was needed was a school. Not, not, I had no intention of having a school right up to the class 12 that we have now. So, I felt that uh, what was more important is the foundation for the children. And that means the foundation up to maybe class 1, at the most, or to class 2. So with that in mind, I started the school. Yeah. But it seems that from year to year, the parents, when I told them after class one to leave the school to take the children away, they refused and wanted me to continue with it. So it went from year to year and year to year, till now we have it up to class 12. When I look back at all these years of trials and the doubts, the moments of joy and laughter, like, uh, like our chief guest, Mr. Karbunga said, uh, we, I, we have to take it a day by day. Each day in the morning, we do not know what is going to, to happen, what, what we will be facing, but we somehow, there is a joy to it. Every, every problem also was like a challenge for us. So, and we, I really thank the parents also for, for cooperating with us and making it so, so, I mean, making the hours of the days go by so happily. So, um, uh, I feel that the teachers who helped me at that time also were very sincere, very good. And they did their best to make the children feel happy and at home. So uh, I think I will take this opportunity to thank all my teachers, the staff also, and everyone, the students, and all those who, with the well wishers, who helped us put up the school till it is today. So with these few words, um, I want to thank each and every one of those who were part of the school. And last of all, I feel that without God's help and His presence, that we, we feel from day to day, we would not be able to reach this far uh, and to be able to celebrate 25 years of our school. So with that, I would like to close our Thank you all very much for coming. In appreciation of Ms. Wanda Malyam's long and dedicated service in the teaching profession, we congratulate and honor her on achieving this service milestone of 25 years with the school. Ms. Malyam had joined the school in the year 1996 when the school first started and was one of the first teachers teaching in the preschool section. Her ongoing
President himself, the dedication of the school has upheld her continuous service right through these years. This meritorious service as a teacher to her students and, and a mentor to her fellow teachers and staff has earned her the love of all the children and the respect of her colleagues. We congratulate you, Ms. Wanda, for your outstanding contribution in mentoring our small toddlers and we encourage you to continue being an inspiration for the generations to come. Well, I am so grateful to the Almighty God that I am able to stand here in front of you with such an honor and award. I am fascinated to start my journey as a teacher to Melissa's school. I would like to express my gratitude to Ma'am Ellerine Paria and Sir Lamantin Paria who recognized my work in all these 25 years. A special gratitude to my colleague for your sincerity have inspired me. Last but not the least, I would like to thank the parents who have been understanding and cooperative. I declare this award to all of you. Thank you. We thank everyone on stage and request you to be seated.
Oh, my God. 
Thank <laughs> you.